We got a 25 year old unrestrained female struck her chest on a steering wheel during a high speed crash. She presents with hypotension, tachycardia and signs of internal bleeding in the chest, which intervention offers the best chance of survival. Would it be A, rapid transport to a trauma center, B, intravenous fluid administration, C, full spinal immobilization, or D, high flow oxygen administration. Now, as an EMT, whenever you're sitting for an exam like this, occasionally come across answers that aren't even in your scope of practice. For example, B says intravenous fluid administration. We can go ahead and throw that one away. What's your index of suspicion here? We had a high speed crash. This person's hypotensive, tachycardic, and we know that there's internal bleeding in the chest. This person needs a surgeon. As an EMT, there is literally nothing that you can do to save this person other than getting them to the hospital. Literally, that's it. So if it said, what would you do initially? Maybe spinal motion restriction would be the answer. But what is it asking from us? Which intervention offers the best chance of survival? Rapid transport to a trauma center is definitely the answer. Let's look at the next one.